Well, howdy. In this video, we're going to cover box. What are boxes? They're the most basic thing in Chakra. And with a box, you can make any of the other components that you're going to see in this series. After that, we're going to do a quick little example to show you some of the sweet things you could do with boxes. And then lastly, I decided to make a V-Day card as if my dog Bernie was giving it to you or me because I love him so much. But let's get to learning. All right, now let's look at the documentation for a box. At the top, it says box is the most abstract component on top of which all other Chakra UI components are built. By default, it renders a div element. Now that's important to keep note, at, uh, note of, not note as, as we go down here. So just know in the background, this is kind of like a very special div. Another thing we should look at is the common use cases. So we have create responsive layouts with ease. As you can see here from layouts on the uh, side, which I actually may be cropping for this part of the video, you have a lot of other options. So a box isn't necessarily your only option for this, but it's one of the many they give you in the toolbox. So create responsive layouts with ease, provide a shorthand way to pass uh, styles via props, and then compose new component and allow for override using the as prop. Looking at this here, we can see the typical copy. This is how you can bring in box. Odds are you're going to have a very long list of other components you're bringing in here. We see box in this example here with the background color tomato. I don't know if that's tomato to me, but maybe it's just my eyes. The width is taken 100% of the page. I believe this P is uh, the padding is uh, value of four. And then the color, meaning the text here, is white. And this is probably one of the most basic examples you could have here. Now, the next example goes from like, you know, this very easy one to something much more extravagant. But let's just look at the image. We see that there's this card looking styled thing we have here. So we have an image, it has these rounded corners. It looks like there's a row of, you know, text here, some more text. And then I don't know if this is an image or what it is, but we have four out of five stars, 34 reviews. As we come down here, we can see there's a bunch of values for property, this object being made. But let's not focus on how to make this exactly, because I want to make this as simple as possible. If you start getting curious, that's when you start venturing off on your own, creating these kinds of things. But we can see there's a box. We have that image above that is this property. But we have this, you know, mostly, uh, or so the most apparent box here. We have an image, and then we have a child box. Yeah, and then there's that new, and then we have the number of beds and baths. And so these are just boxes within boxes within boxes. And we can see that this one right here is being rendered as an H4. What other ones could we spy in here? Are there any other as, uh, so we, this one is a span right here. So it kind of looks like the same thing coming on through. It's just box after box. But is this attribute here, this as, which you got to pay attention to. Now, do I or do I not recommend you do this? Just throw boxes at everything. I think that depends on you, your project, how are you maintaining it? Also, what is your team deciding to do? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's ultimately, you know, one of those team decisions here. But it does look a little confusing having a box and a box inside of boxes. But I think this is just to show you the power of what you could do with this very, very general abstract type of component here. And as I previously said, look at the as prop. There's this button here, but it's a box, but it's being rendered as a button. So as you go through and practice this on your own, do little fun examples, make your own projects, you know, don't be afraid to, maybe I don't want to use a button. Maybe I want to use a box as a button and do some more uh, customization on top of that. So this is enough documentation. Let's do the coding. Now let's do some light coding here. First, I'm just going to add in a box up here. And let's just play around with some in no particular, you know, order, rhyme, or reason. I'm going to show you some, just some basic stuff that you could do with it. So 
So this is just a plain box. It actually looks like a box. I actually did not intend to make it 400 by 400. And now what we could do is we could take this and we could make it something else. So we're going to take the box and let's change it into an H1 tag. So now we see here we have this H1 tag here. And if we want to, we could even go in and inspect this. So remember that this should be a div and this should be an H1 tag. So let's go ahead and inspect it. So we see right here that this is a div and that this is rendered as an H1. This is pretty cool stuff right here. So now as we have this, let's go ahead and just copy this and to show the same thing down here, but we'll make this a button. So this is a button. It looks identical to this H1 tag up here, but now we could click it. Let's go in and inspect this again to make sure we did this properly. And we see that in fact, this is a button, which is really cool because you see how flexible this is. We could even come up here if we wanted to, and we could write a function that will return a, a box, but we could customize it heavily. So now we're turning this in here. We have red 500. If we wanted to do red 900, we can see that we are asking this function return box to return a box. I know it's kind of odd saying that many times in a row, but imagine if we had this return box in another file. Now we could come in and bring this into as many you know components, pages as we would like to, and we would also have the ability to heavily customize it as well. Okay, so I think I said maybe at some point during this tutorial that I wasn't gonna do a big presentation because there was that card in the beginning and it was, you know, I think too much to go over for a intro to, you know, something so basic and easy to understand. At least I think that's how Shocker wants you to understand boxes. And so I don't wanna overcomplicate it, but as I was preparing my materials yesterday, I did find something kind of random and weird and strange that I made that I do want to share and it involves my dog Bernie. So let's do actually a mini project. Now that I have everything I want to import, what I'm going to do is actually make a Valentine's-ish looking card thing that you could click on and I was just playing around at the boxes putting stuff in there using the aspect ratio and it just kind of came out to looking like a valentine so let's walk through and show you how I'm going to do this so first we're going to make a box and it's going to be the kind of background the thing that's going to encapsulate everything else So now I have this right here. I have this cutesy pinkish, I don't know what color of pink background here. I have the flex and then I'm going to space the content um, evenly throughout here. These flex aspects of it were added after the fact. So when you see a lot of tutorials online, especially, you know, mine, I work a lot of this stuff out in advance. So what you're seeing is, oh, I need this. Oh, I need that oh, I think I need to use this to make it look better. So don't think that I just knew off the bat I needed to do this. It just, you know, you kind of figure it out as you go, right?
So right now what we have is Be My Valentine, this derpy uh, look my dog has. And let's go back to this code here. So I have everything in this big pink box, then I have an aspect ratio. Now, could I probably move the aspect ratio more to the inside, um, covering where this image is? Probably, that wouldn't be a big deal, but I kind of ended up liking how it overall looked, so I just didn't move it. So I have this aspect ratio, flex grow, which is making this be as wide as it is, because as you see when I add the button, well, you're not gonna see, but this would get smashed and you wouldn't see the picture. So I added the flex grow to give it more presence on the screen. I wanted to keep the ratio the way it was. And then what I ended up doing was I made a box on the inside of this aspect ratio and I gave it a you know 350 pixel max width here. And then I decided to you know give it this top border radius. Uh, and also I wanted to make it a um, flexbox style component here. And I wanted to column columnize it, make it columnar. I think there's some technical word for that. I want to make it a column so that way it would stack be my Valentine with a picture of my dog Bernie. So let's go on to the next next aspect of this, which is making the box, which is a button on the right hand side. So now what we did is we made a button. So this is still a box, but now it's being rendered as a button. As you saw in the previous, you know, right before this code example, you could do that with the as keyword here. Gave it the background, aligned it, formatted it the way I wanted to. But now I added an on click here. So when I click this, click if you like me, you have, I want to sniff your butt, which is what my dog likes to do. We'll sniff everything, but especially your butt. And as you can see also, I have the, you know, um, this prop here coming in and I have equals four, but then also, you know, for the border, I have, you know, this, the JSX style way of doing it, but in other ways here, I just use a straight up string. So I know I'm, I'm a little inconsistent when I do this sometimes, depending on what I'm thinking of at a given time, but this is also a good example to show you that. If you want to give strings this way, or if you want to give strings this way, it's no big deal. It all renders the same here. So this is my project here, my dog's Valentine. I don't know who he's going to give this to because he's he's fixed, but um, maybe maybe he'll give it to me and he'll get some extra treats. So if you like this stuff, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell my dog what you think of him, and I'll see you all in the next section.